what's up y'all so melody ho went to ig live and she said a few things and called it a revelation and one of the things she let us know was that martel threatened her with revenge porn and i am floored y'all ready to jost this right quick let's jost come on blaze it's a beat for me so what's up y'all it's your girl voodoo back with a quick little jose it's gonna be a quick one this time y'all for real but i'm back with a quick little jose and something caught my eye as i was fishing through youtube and i saw that melody hope went live and she was discussing a few things uh i believe they are calling it a revelation i don't know if she called it that but that's what the word is being uh sent around but nevertheless so she goes live she's talking about all the things she's gone through dealing with martel and everything with court and she lets us know that basically the custody agreement stayed the same so martel didn't get full custody of the kids uh that's a good win for her and then she also brought up the fact that uh last year uh, martel basically had threatened her with revenge porn and i thought to myself you have got to be low as the scum of the earth to even do that to the mother of your children. Now, remember, this is all allegedly. This is Mel's side of the story. But if she's saying that that's what it is, that's what we're going to roll with until we see otherwise. But I'm saying that to say it's given that Martel really did that. And the reason I'm going to say that is because Martel is a very bitter man. And I think when he sees Melody uh, and she's shining, she's glowing, she's doing extremely well in business. He's not thriving. He's not even with the woman he cheated on her with. And... I think it triggers him a little bit. And I think he starts to regret everything that he did, but he knows it's too late. So then it makes him act out. You know, when, when men are mentally uh, immature, that's typically how they react with their actions because they don't know how to process certain things. So when she said this, I was just like, oh my God, if this is true and I don't see no reason why not to believe her again, like I said, unless something, somebody with some receipts or something come out, I don't know. But if, in fact, these allegations are true, I think that it is horrible and it is the worst thing that a man can do to his woman, to his ex-wife, and definitely to the mother of his children. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to let y'all get into the little clip I saved and uh, I'll let y'all determine what y'all think and we'll come right back for more commentary. Um, I'm going to be absolutely honest with you guys. I'm going to try my best to get through this. Um, I'm going to try my best to get through it. Y'all going to have to be patient with me today. Um, but, so there was a video, a live that he did, where he literally talked about the case and came for me. And I responded to that live. Whenever I responded to that live, he sent me a screenshot of the video, from the video, and I know the video, I remember where we were. It, I, you remember details of things. I remember the video that we did um, with my then husband, by the way, just in case any of y'all are questioning that. Um, and said pretty much like, stop talking about me, I'm gonna drop this, even though I responded to a live you just did about me. Wow. <laughs> But okay, bet. So um, I then took to social media and said revenge porn. Really, I don't do threats. I do promises. Sent the screenshot to my attorney with the text message. I have all of that. Um, and then that was that, right? So for a couple of days ago, for someone to reach out because Carson, just so y'all know, she did reach out to me directly um, a few days ago. So if you think that she didn't, she did. She came to me privately and directly with the information. Um, and I knew she was telling the truth. I knew she was telling the truth um because by the way this was august 2022 y'all but i knew she was telling the truth because he sent me a screenshot from the video and i remember the video so 
Um, I never in a million years would have thought that you walking away or leaving a situation, divorcing someone, that it will result in um, them going to the depths of the earth all the way to hell to try to literally paint you a certain way, make people believe that you're a certain way, that you're promiscuous, that you was cheating on them in the marriage. All of these things I've sat back and listened to and really chose not to fully address them because it was laughable. Like it was laughable because I knew all of the untruths in it. But some people ran with what they thought sounded good and what they thought, you know, because they don't want to like me for whatever reason, maybe because they think I act bougie or whatever. So they chose to run with this narrative that this man put out saying all these things about me, going on national television, calling me a hoe and all this stuff, all this stuff that I'm sitting back here saying, this ain't the truth. Like, stop lying. Only for now for y'all to see and it, for it to come out that this person will go to the lengths of asking someone to create a fake page as a man to drop the video me and him did and act like it's him, the fake man. We've seen him go on this crusade to everyone on this show, to everyone in this city, people y'all don't even know about. We've seen him go on this crusade, trying to make everyone think that I'm behind this and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And again, I'm sitting back thinking, no, not accurate, but I just choose not to say too much until I want to say something. Um. I want to go for a minute to what it would have been like had this video had gotten dropped because even though it didn't happen, we're going to, in order to feel it and get it, we're going to put ourselves in our, in those shoes of someone you were with for 14 years, who you share four children with, who continuously claim that they want such a positive co-parenting relationship, but is doing the things that are, being revealed, then I say this is going to be the live of Revelation today, that are being revealed. I ain't going looking for nothing. God continues to bring things and protect me. I didn't go ask nothing. I'm not going looking for nothing. But if you ain't learned one thing. So I know y'all just heard that. And I just want to say this. Um, they're saying that last year Melody came out with a tweet or something and said revenge porn, really, or something like that. I don't follow Mel outside of the show. I mean, I follow her on Instagram, but to be honest, I don't hardly run into her on social media because once I cut off my brain from the reality shows, I literally cut them off unless something comes to my attention. Right. So. This video would explain uh, that tweet or that comment she made on social media last year. And let me just say this. Something Mel said in this video that rings true at the end of the day. Mel said, everything you keep coming at me with, it fails because God protecting her. You know what I'm saying? And she basically says that she's thriving. She's doing well and he's not. And that's what lends me to the uh, belief that, yeah, Martel did do what she said he did. You know what I mean? And he's done other things. And we saw what he did with the kids. He said he, he wants to come to the party for the kids because it's about the kids. And then he they father there. And then when the little girl called him later on, he said he didn't want to come get her. That's the type of stuff that we're dealing with when it comes to Martel. And it's odd because I'm hoping that relationship between him and Sheree is fake. Because if this is real, girl, and it could be. Because, you know, Sheree do not have good taste in men, child. And I don't mean physically. I'm just saying in, in general. But if you are dating this dude for real and this is what he's sending his wife through, you are just waiting in line for your turn for him to do the same thing to you. He not only did this to his wife, he treated his side piece bad. And had her thinking they was going to be together when he was married. And then as soon as they get divorced, he tell her he'll never be with her. Martel is not a good man when it comes to dating. He's not a good man. He's not a good person. 
Martel's literally not a good person and it's showing. It's showing in everything that he's doing. He's really failing at everything. And the fact that he sat up there and even threatened this girl, and if she says she got screenshots and sent it to her lawyer, I would love to see or know what the outcome of that was. I mean, maybe they didn't do anything because he didn't actually send it. But then to find out that he later on tried to get with somebody else to create a fake page and put it out there, like, come on, man. Listen, let me just say this, because I'm not a Melameter. Let me just start there. But I am for right. And this is what I will give Mel. Mel is a classy girl. Mel is not the girl who got to walk out with her boobs out, her ass out. You know what I mean? Mel comes off very Southern Belle. You know how like Phaedra said she was. Mel really gives Southern Belle vibes. I'm not going to lie. I think something like that would have devastated her, like literally devastated her. And he knows that. I just wish that Mel had seen these qualities in him way earlier and way beyond or before four kids, right? Because as much as he do some really jacked up things, there's really not much Mel can do as it pertains to having to even interact with him and deal with him. Um, they have kids together. They can put in the most strenuous uh, drop off, pick up, you know, things and everything. But at the end of the day, that is still her child's or children's father. And it sucks to have to be attached to somebody like that. It really does. And let me just say this too. Uh, if you sensitive to cursing, just close your ears real quick. Cause I got to get this off my chest. Martell, you are old bitch ass nigga. You is a bitch ass nigga. And a real nigga should have bet the piss out you long time ago. Say what I said. Anyway, back to our regularly scheduled program. I just had to get that out, but no, yeah, seriously, this is insane. This is nasty. This is disgusting. Um, Martel, you're going to pay for everything you do. And listen, the world is circle for a reason. Everything you put out there comes right back on around to you. You hear me? Y'all drop down in the comments and let me know what y'all thought about Mel in this situation and him trying to conspire to release this girl's sex tape. And we probably would have found out your little Pee Wee was small anyway, Pee Wee Herman. I'm saying this don't make no sense. Montel be wearing the tightest of the shorts and we ain't seen a print yet. All thighs, no prints. Make it make sense. Girl, just blew me to smithereens. Anyway, like I said, drop down in the comments. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Follow me on TikTok and I'll see you hoes later. Bye. Mr. Carroll. How you give the voodoo doll time to talk? I don't get no fucking time to talk. Who the voodoo doll is? The nigga you just had up here.